What's going on YouTube? I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, I thought I'd make this uh, review to try and save you guys a little bit of time. Uh, it's a Netflix film that I saw recently. Uh, it premiered a couple weeks ago. It's called Lost Bullet. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight up front, I gave this a 5 out of 10. Uh, stay away from this one unless you've got nothing else to do and you're just dying to see an action movie you know then that's might be something that you want to check out uh but the basic plot of the movie is uh there's this mechanic he's really good at making cars faster uh he ends up doing a crime gets convicted uh, but he's so good at what he does that the police actually recruit him to make their cars go faster so they can it can help them catch criminals uh he ends up getting framed uh for a murder and the whole movie is him trying to clear his name uh, I'll talk about some of the things that it does right. Um, I didn't think the acting was too bad. Uh, the main star is a guy called Albin Lenoir, probably butchered his name, uh, but he's really the only character that you're going to care about. He does a decent job acting, you know, nothing groundbreaking, but you know, there's not really much you're going to expect in this type of movie anyway. Uh, there are some decent uh, car chase scenes. Uh, some of the fight scenes are pretty good. Uh, but just overall, it, you know, maybe it's because of the platform. Uh, the film was dubbed. Uh, I'm not sure what the original language that the movie was in. Uh, and then for those of you who like to watch movies and TV with subtitles, I'm one of those guys. Uh, the subtitles don't even match the dubbed uh, English that's in the film. So that's another thing that was pretty frustrating. Uh, but just throughout it's really got the kind of a feel of a, a, a B movie and not to say that all B movies are mad or bad uh, there are some that I have quite enjoyed uh, but it, it the film just kind of lacks a certain polish uh, it's kind of hectic uh, the way things uh, scenes progress from one to the other and then it's nothing new it, it you know as you're watching the film it'll remind you of a lot of other films that you've already seen before uh and it doesn't do anything new or you know something in a bigger better way or something you know groundbreaking uh you know i, I i'm looking at it and i can say that okay yeah i've seen better car chases than that or you're looking at fight scenes i've seen better fight scenes than that and Definitely, you know, the plot is very straightforward and, you know, for a movie that just has a singular plot, you know, not to say that a movie can't be good with a singular plot, but if it does have a singular plot, then I'm expecting everything else surrounding it, you know, to be great because it's, hey, we're not going to devote any energy into, you know, making you have to think or any of that. So the explosions and the fight scenes and the action or, you know, something is going to be over the top to compensate for that. Uh, and you really don't get that in this film. Uh, but, you know, it, it's on Netflix, so, you know, I didn't pay any extra money to see it, so there is that. Uh, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. <laughs> There's not really much I have to say about this film. Has some decent fight scenes, like I say, some decent car chases. Uh, if there's nothing better on and you're looking for something to watch, then by all means have at it. Uh, but I can say that at the end of this movie, you know, I was definitely... I don't want to say like I was too disappointed, you know, where I felt like I just wasted all this time, uh, but it was kind of like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, definitely not something that I'm going to think about again or probably 10 years from now even remember that I've seen this movie. Uh, so there it is. Uh, stick with me for the next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you think that, hey, thank God this guy saved me some time and now I don't have to go see this. Or if you didn't heed my advice and you go watch it anyway and then you agree with me uh i don't think i'm gonna get many people disagree with me about this one but if you do hey let me know we can talk about it uh thanks for watching again guys and i'll see you next time